If you are planning on traveling for the 4th of July, you will have some company. AAA estimates a record-setting 47 million people will hit the roads, rails, and sky to celebrate the holiday. That's the biggest number since they started tracking nearly two decades ago. But if you plan on driving to celebrate, you better pack some extra cash. Mary McGuire explains why. I'm headed home for the 4th of July, going to Fort Wayne, Indiana. Making her way to the airport for the first time in 10 years, Wanda Giles will be spending the holiday with friends and family across the country. She's not alone. Well, I came prepared. I'm early. I bought my ticket online, so I'm kind of anxious and excited and prepared. Nearly 4 million people will fly for Independence Day, helping set a new 4th of July travel record. The majority of the 47 million holiday travelers will be hitting the road to enjoy freedom and fireworks. Sierra Buckner is one of them. It's $2.99. I like when, as we were pulling up, I was like, oh my gosh, almost three dollars. It's like we're in Chicago or something. <laughs> she, along with millions of others, will be shelling out more at the pump. I know that they said they were going to be like as bad as they were on Memorial Day or something like that, but I don't know. This seems really bad. <laughs> According to AAA, the current national average price for a gallon of unleaded is $2.85. That's up more than 60 cents from the same time last year. If you're already angry about those gas prices, you might want to stay off the road come Tuesday afternoon. Travel times on the road could increase twofold between 3 and 6.30 p.m. in major metro areas across the country. Reporting in Bloomington, Mary McGuire, WCCO 4 News. So what's behind the gas bump in Travelers for the 4th? Well, AAA attributes this to the fact that Independence Day falls on a Wednesday this year. That gives people more flexibility to travel the weekend before or after the holiday.